Mr. Sumner. Hey everyone, Dr. Horton, thank you for that really warm welcome. It means a lot to me to hear that I'm your favorite employee. Wait, what? He didn't say that? Are we sure? I really thought he would. We can just like edit him in saying that, right? That hurt. Anyway, uh, welcome to our student Q&A session. Uh, as you may be aware, for this fall of 2020, we've been online only, but this morning we actually had some students come into campus to take the PSAT as part of the National Merit Qualifying System. So I figured as long as they were here, I'd invite some of them to come by after the test and stop by my office so that we could film uh, them answering some of our more frequently asked questions. And so uh, because we're filming this in advance of airing it, uh, I am also ask them to be online whenever it airs. So if you want to put any questions in the comment section, Hopefully they'll be able to answer those for you. And before I let them introduce themselves, I just want to take a moment to just sincerely thank them. Um, the PSAT is a fairly long test, and I'm sure that coming in to answer questions is one of the last things they wanted to do. Uh, so on behalf of myself and all of you watching at home, I want to thank them for coming in and spending a little bit of time doing this with me. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink down my screen here. All right. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Tum Tum, why don't you get us started? Hi, my name is Tim Tim, and I'm from Natchitoches, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Brady Covington, and I'm from Walker, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Libby Zachary, and I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana. Hello, guys. My name is Isaac LeCompte, and I am from Houma, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Ella Abney, and I'm from Slido, Louisiana. All right. So what I'm going to do is ask this group a handful of questions. And in order to keep this along, I'm only going to ask two or three students to answer each one. So I'll start off with a pretty basic question. I want to know what led you to leave your home and your school uh, two to three years early and come to LSMSA. So let's say Livy and Tum Tum, why don't y'all take this one? Honestly, it was the opportunity. Um, I was previously homeschooled before LSMSA, so I wasn't in that traditional public school environment. And while homeschool obviously offers great opportunities, the ones offered at LSMSA are just they can't be beat. Um, and between that and the sense of community that I saw from my first exploration day, between not only the faculty amongst themselves, the students amongst themselves, but faculty and students together, it was there was no question. I was drawn to Ellison to say because of the course options is one of the really big things. My sister had already been here for about two years before it was time for me to apply, and she just seemed to be having such a great experience that. I wanted to get to try and have it too, so I would apply. Good answers. For this next question, let's hear from our other three students. So let's say Brady, Ella, and Isaac. What do y'all like to do for fun around here? The most fun thing to do while you're here is to go out on, oh, well, we might not be able to do this anymore, to go out on Front Street on the weekends and just stay out till curfew and just walk around with your friends and go by the it's just so it's just such a fun experience just walking down and I don't know you have to do it yourself really anything <laughs> like I find I have most fun weirdly enough when I'm doing like homework and stuff because me and my friends are just messing around and making fun of each other and things like that um but going around Natchitoches like to Front Street and stuff is actually really fun like during the weekends Okay, so this is going to sound really geeky, um, but I, me and like five other guys would get together like every weekend. We play this game called Twilight Imperium, okay? Let's say it's like a seven to eight hour board game. Best thing to do on the weekend. But it's also very geeky. <laughs> Isaac, I appreciate the honesty. For my next question, I want to know what's your favorite class or your favorite thing to do here on campus? So I have to go back to you, Isaac, but then let's also hear from Tum Tum and Livy. My favorite class would probably be the Chinese class because one, I don't know, it's it's fun to relearn something you've lost, even though it's extremely difficult to learn. And it's just, you know, it's something you don't normally have. You don't normally have, you know, Chinese or Arabic or German at most schools. So it's a unique kind of lesson that you're allowed to hear to have. My favorite class would probably be American History with Dr. Langford, which I took my sophomore year. And that class was super fun. I wasn't really much of a history kid before I came, but 
just the way that she got involved with us and made sure that we all understood what was going on and was available for questions or help anytime we needed it was really exciting and made the class super fun. Definitely the theater program. I've met a lot of like-minded kids who are really passionate about acting as well. And being able to blossom in that community and blossom in that realm of study has been something that I feel like I wouldn't get in outside education. Excellent. Thank you all. For this next question, let's say Ella and Tum Tum, why don't y'all tell me how the school compares to your old school? hundred times harder. <laughs> um, uh, it's a lot like I'd say college because in at my old high school, um, the classes were more like here's a worksheet, do it in class and then do your homework. But here you just have to sit and listen to your teacher's lecture for an hour and um, it goes by really fast and there's not much time for questions and stuff you just have to really pay attention but I like the environment a lot more because I feel like I'm learning more and I'm enjoying learning more than I did in my other school. The class options that we have are definitely better than the old school like the electives that they offer and all subjects are definitely more like more in-depth and better than the course options from my old school. I think the classes are definitely harder too, which is what I enjoy. Like I enjoyed the lecture format a lot and you could learn how to take really good notes and it's really good preparation for college. Great. For this next one, I'd like Isaac and Brady. Why don't y'all tell me a little bit about your toughest adjustment in adapting to life here at LSMSA? I would say probably the hardest adjustment for myself would be maintaining like a healthy lifestyle, maintaining a good um, eating diet, of spending habits and all that. Just making sure you, I'm not overspending, I'm not overindulging or underindulging, I guess. So yeah, just making sure I'm healthy. <laughs> I got, I kind of got in the habit um, of not really doing work because I never really needed to. I, because it, it just came naturally at my old school. So I didn't really put like a lot of effort in at first. And then I learned the hard way that you need to here um, and that kind of whipped me into shape. All right. Those are excellent answers, uh, but I think you'll find that Brady's in particular rings true for a lot of our students. Uh, even if you adapt pretty well to the increase in difficulty, there's still going to be a lot more independent work required, uh, and you really don't want to fall behind in that stuff because it is going to be really hard to kind of pull back up out of that hole. Uh, for my next question, I'd like to go back to Brady and then Ella, why don't you tell me what the most important thing is to know or bring whenever you're moving into the residence halls? Uh, the thing with new kids is you always want to overpack and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just you're going to have to bring a lot of it home or if you don't, it's your room's going to be very cluttered throughout the year. Um, I don't think there's really one specific thing I use the most other than like my laptop and don't forget your charges because it's gonna suck. Um, but yeah, just try not to overpack. You probably won't use half the things you bring. Uh, Dehumidifier. Admirably succinct, Ella. Livy, you're the smallest of our panel members. Why don't you tell us how safe you feel here on campus at LSMSA? I feel really safe. Um, the campus itself is, it's a pretty good area. Um, I carry my keys and a whistle on me at all times, but other than that, as long as I stick with a friend, I've never felt significantly unsafe. And even if you do, there's always a friend or a teacher around that you can ask to kind of accompany you or just make you feel more at home. Awesome, thank you. For our last couple of questions, I actually wanna hear from everybody in the group. So first, can y'all tell me something that you wish you would have known sooner? Uh, something that you wish somebody would have told you uh, whenever you first started here at LSMSA. Uh, Isaac, why don't you start us off? Uh, probably, I wish they would tell me to like connect with people not only in your grade, but also people in other grades. So now you only have people that you can connect with when you're on your free time. We have mentors that can kind of guide you and be that person that you could aspire to become. Don't procrastinate. <laughs> because it really catches up and you can't catch up because you'll lose sleep if you try and catch up. Oh, I know. Don't 
try and take a bunch of classes when you first start. Like, it's okay if you're only taking the minimum required amount of classes. Eventually, you'll find your groove and you'll find what you're here for and more classes you want to take. But don't be worried because kids are taking way more classes than you and feel the need that you do too. So my biggest thing would definitely be to take it seriously, but don't take yourself too seriously. Because, yeah, the classes and the rigor here requires a certain level of seriousness, but you've only got three years here, maybe two if you're a new junior, so you've got to make the most of that time because it's extremely finite. And, yeah, go to Chick-fil-A with your friends that night. Go to Friend Street with them. Go annoy your dorm mates because they're not going to be there forever. And, yeah, things get tough sometimes, but that makes it all worth it because that's what you're going to look back on in 20 years. So That we all belong here, no matter what your ACT score was, no matter what your grades were, you got accepted for a reason, and you are no less than anyone else here. Even if they had an eight-point better ACT, you were just as relevant and deserve to be here just as much. That's a really great point, Brady. A lot of our students come from a variety of backgrounds and capabilities, and not everyone's had the same access to the same helpful resources growing up. But our enrollment services team wouldn't accept anybody if we didn't think that they were gonna have a chance to be successful here at the Louisiana School. Uh, so guys, for your final question, I wanna know, what's the number one piece of advice that you would give to new students? My number one piece of advice would be, don't be afraid to ask for help. Everybody here wants to help you and wants to see you succeed, including the faculty, staff, your friends. Everybody's gonna be there if you aren't afraid to ask for it. I would say, uh, if you're a STEM kid, don't just focus on STEM. And if you're a art kid, don't just focus on art. Explore, you know, do some sports. Do a lot of arts if you haven't done arts. Do a lot of STEMs if you haven't done STEM. Because, you know, the school is really good at, you know, focusing, like, giving you what you need, but it also has a lot of things that you might not think you're interested in. For instance, I do, I'm doing a lot of sports and I'm thoroughly enjoying it, even though I'm not athletic, not one bit. My number one piece of advice is to make good choices. If, if your future self would look back and be like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing, or I regret that, just don't do it. Just. Just think think before you do, think before you say, yeah. Be very open-minded and as hard as it may be to adjust, um, just try your best to make the best of it. And if you go into like hearing all these, like how the classes are hard, and it's gonna be hard being away from your family, like don't go into it with um, like a bad mindset because then you're gonna have a bad experience. But if you go into it with an open mind, and ready for really great experiences and great relationships and a great time, then you're gonna have a great time. Whenever things get tough initially, don't let that deter you from continuing because things are gonna get really rough right at the beginning because these classes are really rigorous. They're not what, they're, what you're used to. You're moving away from home at 15, 16, and between all of that, navigating a new social life, it's, it's really tough and it's really easy to get bogged down. It's really easy to, get unmotivated and feel like this isn't the place for you, but I promise it is. You're going to find your place here. You're going to find your rhythm and things will come together. So just stick it through. It's worth it. All right. All great advice. Uh, guys, any last words before we end the program? Go, go Eagles! Eagles. Woo! <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, so once again, a sincere thank you to all these students for giving up some free time to come and be a part of this. Thank you again to Dr. Horton for emceeing, and I'm going to send it back to him so you can enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you.